Hey guys, this is Carlos with DevPro CB. Uh, this is a tutorial about uh, abbreviations tag. Uh, this should be a fairly short video. Um, this is a nice tag because it is an SEO tag, which is really good. So if you're looking at, you know, enhancing some of your SEO, the abbreviation tag is going to be one of them. Uh, essentially, what the abbreviation tag will go ahead and do is allow you to take abbreviations like, you know, www, like World Wide Web, um, or LOL, Laugh Out Loud. Um, and essentially allow you to use those small abbreviations, but also allow you to uh, demonstrate what those abbreviations mean. Uh, this is important for search engines, especially if, you know, especially nowadays with the way our society is, we tend to use short tags, uh, especially with keywords and searching. So this will help with long-term keywords as well as short-term keywords at the same exact time. So to get in and show you what I mean, uh, let's go ahead and just get started with the abbreviation tag. Uh, the abbreviation tag is actually fairly simple. All you do is the open bracket ABBR, create the title, all right? And let's say we are gonna do um, laugh out loud, right? So we're gonna do laugh out loud. Close that, remember? Open tag, content, close tag. So then we have LOL. We'll close the abbreviation tag. Means something. Actually, we'll just get and delete this so you can just see what LOL looks like. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this. Refresh. LOL, right? It looks like plain text. But now if we do, if you scroll over, you see now in the browser window it says laugh out loud. See, that's important because the search engine is going to be looking for now both the laugh out loud and the title tag as well as laugh out loud in the standard version. So the LOL, remember content, will show in the browser window, but this is going to get rendered in the background so that when a uh, search engine comes to crawl or index your website, it's going to show the laugh out loud tag. Right? And this can work with uh, any type of situation. So um, let's say we write a sentence, say the dog made me ROTFL. Right, so if you don't know what ROTFL means, it's we roll on the floor laughing. So the dog made me roll on the floor laughing. Save. So the dog made me ROTFL, roll on the floor laughing. It's very simple. The abbreviation tag is nothing complicated, um, but this is a great way to get and enhance some of your pages with some SEO uh, capabilities. Now. There are black hat and white hat, and then of course the gray hat uh, SEO standards. I'm not going to teach you the wrong or white right way of doing it, but I would suggest experimenting uh, with it. And, and really, the only thing I'm going to get in caution on, especially if you're trying to make sure you don't get removed from indexes, is to not pad uh, abbreviations that don't need to be padded. So, for example, um, don't try to force an abbreviation somewhere uh, just because you feel that it'll uh, benefit you. And, and what I mean by that is, let's say you create your own abbreviation, such as, um, let's think about it. Uh, let's say the sun is gold, right? So T H I S. So, what well, I'm sorry, T S I H. So the sun is gold, right? T S I G. You you represent a new abbreviation, right? So we say the sun is gold. Whoops. Well, I can't spell today. The sun is gold. Well, what ends up happening is if your website has no relation to this abbreviation or these keywords, uh, you're essentially gonna negatively impact yourself overall. So you wanna make sure at least the abbreviations that you're using are gonna be related to the content on the page as well as what you're trying to abbreviate. So you can create your own type of abbreviation, but you wanna make sure that, that abbreviation has relativity to the page or website that you're currently building. If there's no relativity um, to the keywords that you're currently using in the abbreviation tag, you will be hit negatively. Uh, so this really ends the tutorial for the abbreviation tag. It's a really simple tag overall. 
but I wanted to cover some of the basic SEO aspects of it. Once again, this is Carlos from DevProCB, and hope to see you guys soon. Signing off.